Hi, good people. This is Deborah. I hope you're having a lovely day. This channel is dedicated to providing educational astronomical insights and knowledges. All information shared here is intended for educational purposes only to inform and enlighten individuals interested in astrology. I will give my opinions and intuition about some things. I was born in September, so I am a Virgo. Virgo is the sixth astronomical sign in the zodiac. And I say from August the 21st to September the 21st. Those other numbers that was listed for these uh, zodiacs cannot be correct. Because the numbers that are here in the earth is 3, 6, 9, and 12. So uh, the numbers that they've included for each month does not line up with three. Okay, people born during this time are considered to have the Virgo sign, sun sign. Remember that the number operating on the earth are three, six, nine, 12, and 13. Therefore, the dates given to the zodiacs and months are wrong. Respect for others is a fundamental principle here. We all have unique journeys, and it is essential to acknowledge and appreciate this diversity. My thoughts matter, and so do yours. I will use words not intended to offend people, but to describe my point of view and how I see things. Feel free to take what resonates with you for the information uh, shared from the information shared here, you can put it on the shelf or throw it away. Now, the word Virgo derived from Latin, and it means I R G I or M I D E N. In astrology, Virgo is associated with the elements of Earth and is ruled by the planet Mercury. And now both Mercury and Saturn, which are the disciplinary, uh, the zodiac sign Virgo is the symbol commonly associated with the zodiac sign Virgo, which is the M, which for me is the Mem in Psalms 119, which it represents the mother. Now, it dispenses the letter M with the loop at the end, symbolizing the great mother holding a sheaf or wheat. This symbol is widely recognized as the astronomical representation of Virgo. Now, Dendera Zodiac Wheel, the wheel. The Zodiac clock contains 12 signs which represents the number of perfection. I've also put the wheel in my graphs. Well, you know my flip charts, you know what I mean? Virgo is the sixth sign of the zodiac, not the ninth. They, they told you wrong. Uh, we mentally go through each zodiac monthly, starting from March the 21st, uh, and you either experience the lower or higher mental of each zodiac. Virgo starts in the sixth month, not the ninth month, because the first of the year is March, April 21st. It's March, April. Okay? Now, we mentally go through each zodiac monthly starting from March 21st. Uh, it is called the 12 steps of the higher self. You would have learned each zodiac higher self. Uh, the year begins March, April 21st, and the year ends February, March 21st. Now, Virgo represents the woman with the seed. The virgin-born seed, not sex. 
In Hebrew, virgin is called Bethula, which is B-E-T-H-U-L-A-H, which is virgin. The same word is used in Arabic, which is called the branch. People said the branch was Jesus. No, it's not. You're about to find out what the branch is. Uh, this is mentioned in the Bible. This Virgo sign originated in the temple of Dendera in ancient Egypt. Where, is, where was ancient, ancient Egypt? Right here in America. Okay. Uh, Virgo is presented as Isis. Okay. Now, they have many things on Isis uh, in the Grand Canyon. Uh -huh. As one of the mutable signs, we adapt to change once we understand how it goes. Virgo embodies the ability to adapt and adjust to change without hesitation. This uh, resilience and adaptability often inspires others as they can face the unplanned and unexpected comfortably. Multiple signs are often jacks of all trades. Uh, they're jack of all trades because they have to go through a lot to become that, okay? And don't get it twisted. Uh, they can adapt to any situation because they have the inherent the ability to change themselves and their mindset to match their environment. Yes, don't get it twisted. It's because we go through a lot, okay? <laughs> all right, I just want you to understand that. It may look like we, we all, we got it together, but no, we go through probably most because we're probably maybe the most hard-headed ones in the planet. And so we go through a lot to get to the places that we are mentally. Uh, if you see a Virgo that is mature or maturing, it's because they've been through a lot. Okay? They've been through a lot. Or if you see... Um, a uh, Capricorn, or if you see a Taurus, same thing. Now, the earth signs are Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And, well, I'll talk about that a little later. Um, those are the mutable signs. And the, the ones that finish off the work, put on the finishing touches, and then clear the way for the cardinal signs, the, initiate, the initiators, to come and initiate a new project all over again. Energy like to, well, mut mutate. It wants to disperse it, share it, change it, mix it into other ideas, other people, other lands, and other worlds. It wants to harmonize. It intends to synthesize. Mutable energy is represented by the spiral, uh, vibrational energy that can move up or down, either expanding into the future or contracting down into the past. That's how we work. Mutable engines, energies work to reveal what has been held tight or hidden by previous fixed moods. It symbolizes growth and evolution and prepares the way for the next cycle, which began again with new cardinal energy. Moreover, thus, the mortal pattern repeats. Those born under the sun sign, which is Virgo, are extremely careful and hardworking. They use their analytical and practic practical traits to help them achieve difficult and complex tasks. Virgos are known for the meticulous nature and attention to detail. 
They have a strong sense of responsibility and strive to perfection in everything they do. This unique trait often intrigues others and is a testament to their dedication and hard work. They also have a big ego, pride, and arrogance. Now, I told y'all, y'all thought we was we would just had it all together. We we have to be broken down with the ego and the pride and the arrogance because we, we gravitate to that in the beginning. Okay, and that's why you see a lot of us uh broken down. And it's okay because it's a good it's a good thing at the end of the tunnel, as they say. This is the shadow side of us. But they only do it when attacked. Uh, they are often organized and methodological and can naturally analyze situations and solve problems. Yes, because of what we've been through. Virgos is like a cosmic detector who undercovers uh, truth and help others gain clarity when, when needed. They will not rest until matters are revealed. They will pay attention to the details and make a case for their claim. Do you wonder why Virgo is Barak with more than one birthstone? We have got you covered. Ideally, the traditional birthstone of the sun sign was embryo only. However, considering its rarity, experts added blue sapphire to the list of Virgo birthstone. Both gemstones have incredibly physical, mental, and metaphysical properties for the Virgo. Virgo's ability to stay grounded and maintain a practical outlook on life, even the turbulence times, sets them apart. They innate stability and reliability make earth signs the backbone of their circles. The virgin woman is actually the virgin consciousness within you. All signs. Meditation, free from all other thoughts residing in stillness. And virgin consciousness is born of a seed of pureness. Our connection with the divine. Virgo is the beginning of all things. And after the sun reaches the zenith in Leo, life begins again until the winter sol solstice. Now, 30 degrees of Leo, the sign prior to Virgo, uh, if you take a look, uh, is, is, if you take a look at that over in Luke 3.23, each zodiac sign is 30 degrees each. Uh, positionings north, east, south, and west. Three zodiacs on each angle. 30 times 3 equals 90. So it's 90, 90 uh, degree angle for all four corners. Okay? And 90 times 4 is 360 degrees, not 365 degrees. Now, that is the compass, which they talk about, which is north, east, south, and west. So that is your uh, uh, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. In the springtime, which is your newness, uh, that means your new way of thinking. That's in, the, in Aries. That's in March, April. So you you going through that, you pay attention to yourself. Uh, in, in the month of March and April, maybe you have new ideas, whatever. That's that's newness, okay? Uh, I just said that, but as many other things, anything that's new. You may be changing a job. You may be changing uh, a relationship. It's, it's newness, okay? That's, that's the month of March and April. And I remember I said you go through the Zodiacs. Um, then in the summertime, 
uh, all the stuff that 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 don't need to be a part of your life it start burning its way off you okay and then when autumn comes in which is september uh october uh i think it's september and october uh when it comes in that stuff starts falling off you and then when the winter time comes in which is the dead month then that stuff is dead to you but you but then when when spring come back in you pick that dead stuff up sometimes people because people don't understand what what's going on with them you have to learn to let it go uh when it dies don't pick it back up uh just let it go okay now i also wanted to tell you that the word christ and and this ain't gonna go too well for some people christ is not a person christ is the crystalline which is talked about over in the book of revelation and crystalline is actually uh the elements in you which is your uh uh fire uh water air earth and the chakra system those are elements too uh the main two elements is your pituitary gland and your pioneer gland those are the the pituitary gland is the master gland okay they tell you when you go look it up out there they're going to tell you that the master gland is the, is the pioneer gland that's not true the master gland is the pituitary gland you don't hear much about that and you probably won't get much you probably won't find much about it okay uh here is speaking to this uh when you when you when you go and look at uh uh okay the seed with the serpent that has to do with uh your carnal is 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 the the woman represent the spirit and the serpent represent the car your carnal mind okay so what's what's happening is that the the lower uh those that dwell in the lower uh fear those in the higher and that's that's all that is i told you before the bible is nothing but an allegory metaphor metaphor type of book that's all it is um but the reason why i'm bringing the virgo to your attention is because each zodiac has its uniqueness uniqueness in its higher self because we have to go through them there are 12 of them and we have to go through them we have to get in order to to be uh uh perfected we have to perfect each zodiac in its highest form most of us go through the zodiacs in our lower form because we 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 wasn't understanding what the zodiacs was doing but you you have all of the personalities of the zodiacs you have 12 personalities and so and you also have 12 lower forms of yourself uh you got to be able to determine you got to discern the two and you have to perfect it each uh month and that's how you become a part of your higher self that's how your high see you have to be humble in this thing um i had to learn that the hard way uh about virgo uh i had to go through humility of pride and arrogance uh, which was my lower self and i had to go through that in humility so things got taken away from me uh i i wasn't privy to the certain materialism because i had to i had to go through uh my mindset being changed toward materialistic things 
toward being knowledgeable on things. My mindset had to change. And so now I see material stuff differently. I see uh, the knowledge that is given to me. I, I don't compare or I don't take things for granted. Well, I never really compared myself with people. I just was always in a category by myself. And, and I did used to get a little irritated with people when they didn't know what I knew uh, in my younger days. So I've been stripped of a lot of things uh, to get to the place that I'm at today. And I'm very happy about it. Uh, I didn't know I can wake up and really feel happy in the inside. All this stuff has to come from inside people. Uh, nothing outside of yourself can make you happy. You have to be happy from within. And I found out that I had layers and layers and layers of all kinds of things that was on top of my happy. And so I struggled to, uh, to humble myself, to allow myself to be stripped of all that stuff that was holding me and weighing me down. And so now I wake up feeling really good. And I'm talking about really good inside. And so I will stay there. Uh, but let me tell you about the, the branch. Uh, the Virgo uh, constellation, the branch, that can be seen a right hand with a branch and a left hand with a shaft of wheat, the bread of life. So she carries the bread of life. That would, The branch is the Virgo, okay? They lied to you and told you that the, Vir that, that the branch was Jesus or Jesse and all them people that... Those people that names that you see, they're not actually people. So what you do, get yourself a Bible concordance and look those names up. And whatever it tells you about those names, that's what it is. It's not a people. Okay? Um, the virgin womb carries the bread of life. The Christ. What is the Christ? The Christ is the crystalline. It is the chakra system. It is the element. Uh, you know, people tell you, go buy you some crystals. You don't need to buy you some stuff that they call crystals, okay? They call it crystals. Your crystals are inside of you. Your crystals are your chakra system or your elements. They got different names that they call them. Um you see it over there in the uh, in the book of Revelation where it talks about the twelve uh, different things over it. That's that's talking about the chakra system, uh, the seven churches. That's a part of the chakra system, the seven chakras. Uh, it's not. Uh, 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 remember, if you keep in mind, the church is you. It's not a building. You're the building. Uh, I don't want to get too far away from what Virgo is, but Virgo is more than just, woo, I'm, I'm a great person, okay? <laughs> I promise you, it's more than that. Because you don't become, when you become a, a person uh, going up the ladder to become a part of your higher self, you are most humble. You are most humble. You become so humble. It's just a beautiful thing for me. And I'm sure other people can relate to what I'm saying as Virgos. Now, I have met for the past two years, I have met some Virgos. Oh, my goodness. And the Virgos that I have met, they are literally walking in their lower self. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. I was ashamed to even meet them because... To, 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 and I had to meet him because uh, I was thinking that all Virgos was the same, and it's just not true. I have met some Virgos that are very much in their lower self and their lower thinking. And uh, you know who you are. I'm not going to call you out, but you know who you are. Uh, Virgo. <laughs> 
it is a sign that is is misunderstood uh you're not going to see that virgo displaying certain characteristics immediately that's something that they have to grow into but they have to be stripped as well um you're not whatever uh characteristics that is said about any of the zodiacs uh you may look and say oh she's not like that or he's not like that it's because they haven't went through the process of becoming that way all of us have to be uh purified like a diamond as they say uh go take a look at the the process of the diamond and and see how that 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 is you you will be mostly surprised okay so virgo's hidden purpose and solid goal uh superpower is the capacity is the align with the divine order that's who we are ultimately is my whole objective is to align myself with the divine order because i am a divine being and so that is my whole objective in this earth uh she knows the identifying with ego tends to create uh speed bumps for divine energy ultimately slowing down or sometimes even blocking the divine flow she so she gratefully steps out of the way make it uh look like she is not the one doing anything as she directs the transformative power of the universe through her very being as a selfless act of service to the greater community she knows the energy that flows through her she also knows what that energy is going to do she she knows she doesn't when she speaks to the universe she speaks out of her mouth what the universe is going to do for the people because she is a part of the service to the people but she has to be cleaned up and she will continue to be cleaned up as she step up back up the ladder that she goes and this applies to all zodiacs each this applies whether you in aries or whether you in taurus or whether you're in aquarius you have to go through all the zodiacs and you have to decide whether you're going to uh stay in the lower part of the zodiac or you're going to become allow yourself to be cleansed so you can go in the higher part of the zodiac that's all of us and so as you as you uh uh as you go through purification uh you'll be able to see have you achieved uh what you need to achieve in each zodiac she does not need the accolades associated with some of the other astronomical signs because her reward for the function she serves is ecstatically electrically uh, alive feeling that comes from opening to the mass massive primal energy of the earth elements pouring through her and directed by her to where they will give to the best she is a temple priestess of life force now that's in her higher self she values the focus gained by cultivating regularity and routine because she does not want anything to distract her from channeling that divine radiance into the world moreover she deeply understands the wisdom of creating solid and sacred containers to hold the immensity of this cosmic firepower an older woman who seems to be a threat to no one however who carries the universe deep in her bones and blood to females and males the virgin woman is actually your consciousness and you need to focus on it and release everything else uh 
from your thoughts uh, and just get into some stillness. The virgin consciousness refers to a state of mind and meditation where one is free from all other thoughts and is in a state of pure stillness. In this state, the seed of pureness, our connection with the divine is born. Through the zodiac experiences, we learn the difference between lower and higher energies. There are 12 cycles, 12 zodiacs, 12 judges in the Bible, which the 12 judges in the Bible is actually uh, the 12 in you. The 12 major prophets uh, in the Bible is the 12 in you. The 12 disciples in the Bible is the, is the 12 disciplines in you. Now, 12 means Isis, Ra, and El. Isis means spirit. Ra means the mind of the sun. El are the elements fire, air, water, earth, called minerals or crystals or the chakra system in you, mentioned throughout the book of Revelation. Um, I wanted to bring that to your attention so you know that no zodiac is better than any zodiac. It's because all those zodiacs, we have to perfect them. We perfect them by when our when we're shown our lower self, we have to gravitate to our higher self in each sign. And and notice when you uh, study the the different zodiac uh, personalities, you see that you exude that personality uh, for that month. Check it out. Now this is for those that that are Bible readers. The word fish. Just to let you know the words, uh, these are words that let you know that these are zodiacs that's being talked about in the Bible, not no people. Okay, the word fish. When you see the word fish in the Bible, it's talking about Pisces. When you see the word lamb or, or, or ram, it's talking about Aries. When you see the word uh, bull in the Bible, it's talking about Taurus. When you see the when you see that the talk about twins. They're always talking about Esau and, uh, let me see, I think it's Esau and Jacob. Esau and Jacob, they always want to take it to somewhere else that don't exist. Esau and Jacob represent your higher and lower self. Okay, Esau being the lower self. And Jacob, well, well Jacob turned out, to, his name means supplanter. You know, so people, 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 please. Okay. Now, the, the crab is the cancer. The lion is Leo. The virgin in the Bible is Virgo. The scales, it talks about the scales. It talks about the weight, W-E-I-G-H-T. That's, that's Libra. Uh, the snake, Scorpio. The archer, that's Sagittarius. The goat. The gold is Capricorn. Um, the water barrier. The water barrier, you see that they over in the Old Testament, you see where men found the women at the well or whatever, whatever. That's Aquarius. And then in the New Testament, uh, Jesus told the disciples that the meat go that go to a place and they'll meet this man uh with the uh uh, a pail of water they replaced the woman originally and put the male as one uh that had the pail of water pouring the pail of water that is uh the sign of, of aquarius okay so that's what all those symbols mean people and hopefully uh you know, you understand where I'm coming from. Um, until the next time, take care, good people. And I hope this, 
I'm going to put some of the stuff as always at the end of my video. Um, but it's in the flip charts. So hopefully the flip charts themselves are uh, visual enough for you to see it. Take care, people. I really appreciate uh, those that are my subscribers and those that have came in as my new subscribers. Uh, I also do natal charts. If you're interested in getting a natal chart done, uh, please email me and we'll, we'll talk about the details of uh, getting a natal uh, chart done for you. Take care, people.